for you. Alright, so, so thank you so much from DTW Tutorials for your support. And I know that this forthcoming YF 2020 examination, as several students have given testimony that through this video they have passed their exams. In fact, they, they are so happy. I know you listening to me, you watching this video right now and listening to me. I know that you are destined to win in the forthcoming YEC 2020 examinations in Jesus' name. Amen. So thank you. So let us get on to the video now. Question 1 of the WAS 2019 Mathematics Pass question. That's your YEC 2019. It says, express correct to three significant figures, 0 0.003. 597 okay and you remember in three significant figures we'll start from when the digit starts that's when we we'll start counting okay if it was a um, decimal place it's definitely it's definitely from your decimal point but for three significant figures wherever our value starts that's where we we'll start counting okay so zero that's it's zero is a non-value okay Z, we have a zero here non-value another zero a non-value here now we have a three we we'll start counting from here so we have a one we have a one we have a two we have a three then immediately after our third, uh, the third number, because we are correcting to three significant figures, immediately after the third number, what is the next number? Okay, the next number after the third number. Is it greater than five or less than five or equal to five? Okay, if it is greater than five or equal to five, then it means we can approximate a one. Okay, that's we add a one to this nine here. All right. If it is um, less than five, then we cannot carry a one. All right. So it is. This is seven. Seven is greater than five, so we can carry a one. And when we carry a one and add a one to this nine here, we have a what well, ten? Is that not a ten? Okay. And definitely, when we uh, when you have a ten, you definitely drop down a zero and carry what another what one to the other side remember in your addition all right when you have a 10 you write down a zero you carry one and add it to the other numbers okay so when you add a one to five what do we what do we have we have a what six and we have a year three and we have a zero zero point zero so this is our answer zero point zero zero three six zero and our right option here is option c Question 2 of the was 2019 Mathematics Pass Question, that's your YF 2019 Pass Question, it says evaluate this. So we have 0 0.064 all into brackets raised to power minus 1 over 3. Okay, we can simplify this um, 0 0.0064 by dividing by 1000 you, I hope you know that when you shift your decimal place 1 2 3 so you have 64 divided by and you know this is uh, in 3 times that means it is um, 10 raised to the power of what, 3 is that not it and what is 10 raised to the power of 3 that's 10 times 10 which is 100 times another 10 is what 1000 so we have 64 divided by what 1000 this is indices so we have to simplify it okay so here i will remember you have a negative power of what one over three all right so from here what do we do okay we can just simply first of all uh let us invert let us cancel this negative power so we have here a one or number 64 divided by what 1000 raised to the power what one over three i hope you remember in this is when you have a negative power to remove this negative power you invert okay you divide the whole number you know where you have a minus one is equal to one raised to power one divided by what a raised to the power of, of whatever power it is one okay that's the same thing we just did here remember the law of indices okay so from here we can um, convert this all right we can raise this um, to some powers so here we have for 64, uh, 4 times 4 times 4, that's 4 times 4 times 4 will give us what is 64. So we have 4 raised to the power 3 divided by 10. Um, this 1000 is what? 10 raised to the power what? Uh, 3. Okay? All, all we are just looking for is cancelling out this power. That's the indices. Okay? No, that's uh, indices simplification. Alright? So from here we have 1 divided by 4 over 10. So since these powers are the same, so we have here, we can bring out this 3. Is that not it? Okay. 
So we can bring out this 3 here. So we have a 3, then all in brackets, then that is 1 over 3. Is that not it? So from here, to open up this uh, bigger bracket, this 3, we are going to, this 1 over 3, we multiply this 3, where it will cancel out. Is that not it? When this multiplies, this 3 cancel out. So what are we left with? We are left with 1 number 4 over 10. From here, it's um, this means what? 1 divided by what? 4 over 10. 10 and you know when we have something like this 1 divided by this word invert so what do we have here we have 1 times what 10 over 4 we invert our right hand side so from here we can easily cancel out we can easily simplify this um 2 can go here how many times 2 times and 2 can go here how many times 5 times so our final answer here is what 5 over 2 so this is how we can evaluate this particular question so our answer is 5 over 2 and our right option here is option a. Question 3 of the WAS 2019 Mathematics Past Question, it said solve this. So we have here y plus 1 divided by 2 minus 2y minus 1 divided by 3 equal to 4. So we have to solve this, okay? It's like um, algebraic fractions. I hope you remember this in your maths. Okay, so from here, we have an LCM. This is 2, this is 2. So, uh, this is 2, this is 3. What's the LCM of 2 and 3? That will give us what? 6. Okay. So, how many times will 2 go in 6? To go 3 times. So, we have 3 multiplying everything here. So, we have 3 bracket what? Y plus 1 minus. How many times will 3 go in 6? That's 2 times. 2 will multiply everything here. So, we have 2 bracket what? 2Y minus 1. Okay. Equal to 4. So from here, we can take this 6 up here So and also open up this bracket. Let's do this at the same time. Take this 6 up. That 6 times 4 will give us what? A 24. All right. And let us open up this bracket. 3 times 3, uh, y, it will give us what? 3y and 3 times uh, 1 plus 3 minus 2 times 2y will give us what? 4y. And minus 2 times minus 1 will give us what? A plus 2. Okay? So from here, what do we have? We have, let's uh, pick like terms. We have 3y minus 4y. Uh, this 3 plus 2 will give us what? Plus 5 equal to what? 24. Let's take this 5 to this side. And what is 3y minus 4y? That will give us what? A minus what? Y. Is that not it? Equal to, taking 5 here, we have 24 minus a positive going to this side will give us what a minus 5 and what is 24 minus 5 that will give us what a what 19 a positive 19 so we have here minus y is equal to what 19 where y if you divide both sides by minus okay a minus divide by a minus 1 so y this will cancel out and y is equal to what a minus what 19 a negative 19 so this is our answer okay I can just simply just say if you, if you have something like minus y equal to 19, it's simply y is equal to what minus 19. But uh, for just to clarify why it is y minus 19, you just divide both sides by minus negative one so that this negative can cancel out from your y, okay, and it would be here. All right. So our answer is what a negative what 19. All right, and our right option here is option B. Question 4 of the was 2019 mathematics past question. That's your 2019 past question. Okay, it says simplify correct the three significant figures. This all right, okay, so you're definitely going to be given a calculator, so it will be easy to uh, just calculate this 27.63 square. What would that give us when you punch in your calculator to give us six uh, seven six three point four one six nine minus this? Square that's 12.37 square will give us 153.0169. Okay, and when you subtract this, what are we going to get? We're going to get what 610.4. All right, so this is what we're going to get. And the question says simplify correct to three significant figures. And remember, three significant figures will start from the values. All right, and six is definitely a value. All right, has a value. Alright, so from here we have 1, 2, 2, 
three. Okay, that's three significant figures. Then the next number is it whether it's a negative, whether there's a the story, whether there's a decimal point or not. The next number is the number greater than five or equal to 5 or less than 5. If it is less than 5, you cannot approximate. But if it is greater than 5, you can approximate a 1. You can see here that we have a 4, and 4 is less than 5, so we can't carry a 1. So definitely, our uh, answer, uh, correcting this to 3 significant figures is what? 6, 1, 0. Oh, okay, to 3 significant figures. So this is our answer, 610. And our right option here is option D. Question 5 of the was 2019 mathematics pass question that's your work 2019 pass question it says if 7 plus y is equal to 4 module uh mode 8 or modulus or module modulo 8 find the least value of y where y is what less than or equal to 10 and uh, i mean y is greater than or equal to 10 and y is what less than or equal to what 30 okay so we have to find the least value of y in, um, in this given particular bracket all right okay that's the values of y and i hope you remember modular arithmetic okay um if you don't you would really need to revise on it because there's always one question on modular arithmetic in yec for the past how many years now there must be one question on modular arithmetic okay so try to read up on this particular um v oh, this particular topic i haven't done this on the channel yet but i think soon i would do it all right okay so um so watch out for that particular video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel on youtube all right okay so uh so we have to find the least value first of all let's what what is the what what find the least value what's the range of values of y what does this mean this means what y is what uh, greater than or equal to 10 okay so y must be greater than or equal to 10 so it will start from 10 okay greater than or equal to 10 greater than so from 10 upwards all right so it should start from 10 11 uh 12 13 14 15 16 right up to 30 okay 17 okay right up to because it says it's what y is less than or equal to 30 right up to 30 so our possible values of y must fall in between this particular range all right so uh we have here 7 plus y equal to 4 mod eight that's uh modulus eight okay i remember you know in our modular arithmetic when you want to convert uh let's say for instance you want to convert uh, five uh like mm, five through to a mod uh four okay uh as in you want to convert this normal number system five to a mode of four and how do you do this how do you do it you want to convert this normal number number five to a mode of four okay and i said mode four all right so how do you do this all you need to do is you divide by uh five by four and it will go how many times one times you don't write that down what you write down is your remainder which is what one then your mode four okay i hope you remember okay so from here we have to convert in, in trying to get the value of y we have to convert this system this one here to a normal how to a normal system okay the normal number system so we have to find out what this four mode eight represents the normal number it represents all right so we can't really get that but we have to like how, how am i going to put it we have to, we have to put in particular values all right okay just follow me closely all right so to convert this now back to a normal system since we know that this four is a remainder so it means that we must have um, it must have gone into something how many times we don't know the amount of times it must have gone into because we don't know the number you know in maths we have your remainder you have your divisor you have your word quotient and quotient is the amount of times a, uh, a particular number goes into another one like when you divide four over uh, four divided by two the answer is what two so this is the quotient okay this has no remainder but if you have something like five 
5 divided by 2, it is what? 2 remainder 1. Okay? Remainder 1. Alright? So, this is your quotient and this is what? 1 is your remainder where your divisor is what? 2. So, from here, to get the parts, to convert this to the normal system, it means 8 would have to what? Multiply the quotient. How many times? We don't know how many times it must have gone into the quotient. All right. So, and we now add the remainder plus four. Okay. This is the only way that we can convert this to a number system. All right. So from here, for us to get our values of what y, we'll just assume since the q our quotient would be an integer that's from uh, uh from zero to whatever number one two three four so we just assume i'm putting these numbers into this particular e equation make q any of these numbers and solve for y are you following me and when we solve for y the value of y must be the in between this particular range and it says what the question says is find the least value of y so whatever least value of y the first value of y that is in between this particular range is what will be our answer since the question says find the least value of y so from here let's assume that we put in a value of our quotient that's q as zero so what do we have we have seven plus y equal to what eight bracket was zero plus four okay so we have seven plus y is equal to eight times zero is what zero and we have we just drop a four so y is equal to what four minus seven which will give us what minus three so this can't be the value of y let us try at y uh, a q is equal to one okay so seven plus y equal to what eight brackets one put one here plus four so here we have 8 times 1 is what 8 and plus 4 we have a 12 so we have a 7 plus y so y is equal to what 12 take the 7 here is 12 minus 7 <coughs> and what is 12 minus 7 that will give us what a 5 and it is not still within the ranges of what y so let us try at y is equal to 2 uh, sorry let us try at uh, q is equal to 2 so we have 7 plus y equal to 8 bracket 2 bracket plus 4 all right so here we have what is 8 times 2 that's 16 16 plus 4 okay we have 7 plus y and what's 16 plus 4 that's 7 plus y is equal to what 20 taking 7 to this side we have y is equal to what 20 minus 7 all right and what would this give us that would give us what 13. So y is equal to what 13. And you can see that this falls in between the ranges of what y. All right. So definitely this are first, uh, this is the least value of what y that we can get starting from 0, 1, and we fall at 2. If we do 3, we'll also get an, uh, the range in between in between uh, this 10 to 30. But the question says find the least value of y. So our answer here is what 13, okay, which is option B. All right. So I hope you still remember, as I said, how to convert back, you know, how to convert, you have to know in modular arithmetic, okay, how to convert a normal system to modular arithmetic and how to convert back also. You need to understand that. All right. Okay. So our, our right option here is option B. Question six of the was 2019 mathematics past question. That's your YEC 2019. It says if T is equal to prime numbers, and m is equal to odd numbers a subset of mu which is the universal set is, it says x is uh, that is x is less than zero uh, i mean x is greater than zero then x is less than or, or equal to 10 and x is an integer find that's t prime intersection n prime okay this is a set okay i hope you remember the topic all right so let's try to find uh the elements of uh each of the subsets okay so for t first of all what is the universal i think the first thing to do is let us interpret what our universal set is so what does this mean it said x is what's greater than zero and x is less than or equal to 10 so x is greater than zero means we have our mu okay 
our mu x is greater than 0, so it means x will start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, comma 9 now you can see they say x is less than or equal to 10 so it will be 10 all right so these are the values of x between 1 and 10 okay comma 10 okay let's put 10 down here and close the brackets all right okay so this is the element of our universal word set all right so now let's find the element of our uh um the subset which is t which will be taken from this universal set okay so you say t is equal to prime numbers in our universal set you know what's a prime number you know a prime number is uh, a number which is greater than one that can only be divided by one or itself okay so what are the prime numbers here as I said is greater than one so the elements of T will be what greater than one and it's a number that can only be divided by itself and one and uh, definitely two can only be divided by itself and one so two is a prime number three is a prime number i hope you remember what prime numbers are okay and five is also a prime number it can only be divided by itself and one seven is also a prime number so these are the prime numbers from this what universal set okay so let us find uh, the elements of m odd numbers what is odd numbers odd numbers are numbers that cannot be divided by two okay so let's say that uh is it how would i put it that would odd numbers are numbers that uh, when you divide by two you are going to have a, like a remainder point something all right so i think in the short form from me as it as uh you know i'm teaching you so i have to explain it but for me it's numbers that can't be divided by two why even numbers are numbers that can be divided by two with no remainder or odd numbers are numbers that uh that will be that when they are divided by two they have what a remainder all right so the odd numbers from here is what from one okay when one divides by two there's a remainder okay you have uh, it can be two because two divided by two is one and three our next odd number is three can is it four no our next odd number will be what five our next odd, odd number not six would be what seven okay our next odd number here will be what nine okay it can be divided by two and 10 can be divided by two with no remainder. So these are the odd numbers. So these are the elements of this subset M. Okay, so now let's, well, what's the question? The question says find T prime intersection N prime. So let us look for T prime now. And I hope you know the meaning of um, T prime. It's uh, T prime is what the elements that are not in T but in the universal sets. I hope you understand what I mean. T prime are the elements that are not in T but in the universal set. That is what T prime. It's just like um, cancelling out the the elements that are in T in the universal set and the remaining numbers that uh, are left is what is what t prime okay so from here you have two three five seven and uh, you can just cancel out these two i don't want to wear you know i don't want to cancel out because we still have m so cancel out these two cancel out these three uh cancel out this five cancel out this seven so the left the numbers left in universal sets is what is what our t prime i hope you still remember that so we have a one we have a four here left we have a six here left we have eight here and we have nine and we have what ten okay this is t prime all right so what is what m prime now the same thing okay all right so here m prime will cancel out one okay let me erase this let me erase this one so that we've um, written on top of it for t prime so we can easily get m prime all right so m prime will cancel one will cancel a three will cancel a five We'll cancel a seven and we'll cancel a what nine. So what do we have left? We have two left, we have four left, we have six left, we have eight left, and we have ten left. Okay, ten. So this is what m prime. Okay, and finally it now says find t prime intersection m prime. All right, t 
t prime intersection n prime that's what we are to look for so intersection is is what the numbers that are in t prime and, and also in what m prime okay so here one is here is one here no four is here is four here yes so we have a four we're going to put it put down a four so we have a four comma six is here is six here yes so we're going to put down a six eight is here is eight here yes so we're going to put down the eight okay the next one nine is here is nine here no 10 is here 10 is also here so we're going to put down a 10 so this is what our what t intersection m prime is what 4 6 8 and 10 so these are the elements for t intersection t prime sorry intersection m prime so this is our final answer and what is our right option here our right option is option a so you can see all you need in this um, question is actually you, you know if you miss it if you don't know what prime numbers are you're going to miss it from here all right and some people will mistakenly put one as a prime number no one is not a word prime number all right because when you put one you are going to miss it are you getting my point so please make sure you know what a prime number is what an odd number is and um and so forth and so on okay all right so this is the answer we have option a question seven of the was 2019 mathematics past question that's your yx 2019 it says evaluate uh, log uh, 9 base 3 minus log 8 base 2 and divided by log 9 base 3 okay so all we need to do is just simplify this let me, let me write down this here so it, it's clearer minus log 2 log 8 base 2 divided by log 9 base what 3 okay so from here, let's simplify this. Now, this 9 is liking as 3 raised to the power 2. Is that not it? Okay, so we have log 3 raised to the power 3, log 3, base 3 raised to the power 2, minus this 8 here can be likened to what? 2 raised to the power 3, uh, 3 which is um, 2 times 2, which is 4 times another 2, which will give us what? 8. And remember, this is 3 times 3, which will give us what? 9. So we have log... 2 base 2 raised to the power what 3 okay divided by what the same as this which is log what log 3 base 3 raised to the power what 2 okay so uh, from here we we'll take down take 2 to this side take 3 take 2 to this um to this to this to the side okay all right remember your logarithms so we have this log 3 base 3 minus 2 times log 3 base 3 and this will be what 3 okay times log what 3 base 3 divided by what 2 times log 3 base 3 from here you know when you have um the same the same base and the same log okay you it will be what 1 i hope you remember that particular law okay when you have log a or log when you have log uh, 10 10 it is what one all right so this would be one and this would be one and this would be what one so we're left here with what is two times one two times one is still two minus three times one is still three divided by two times one is still what two now here two minus three will give us a minus one divided by a two so we have our answer as what this is one okay this is what our answer as what minus what one over two this is our answer and what is our right option here our right option is option d question eight of the was 2019 mathematics past question that's your wire 2019 it says if 23y is equal to 111 in base 2 find the value of y okay this is um you know number basis all right so all we need to do is convert this particular base on our left hand side okay to base 10 and also the one on our right hand side toward base 10 okay and you i hope you remember in converting you know you have to write your your powers this is zero start from zero this is one and this is what two you know you start from your from your right hand side for this uh, particular side this is zero this is one this is two and this is what three these are powers for the basis all right so in converting this to what's base 10 what do we do we have what 
this is a oh 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 sorry sorry this should be a typo from the question okay all right this should be base y this is y this y should be a base so y this will be a zero and one okay this y should be a base all right okay sorry for that error there all right so in converting this to base 10 what do we have we have 2 times what y raised to power 1 plus i hope you know your conversion from one base to another to base 10 especially all right plus 3 times what y raised to power 0 equal to so here this is um, in base 2 so we have 1 times 2 raised to power 3 plus 1 times what 2 raised to power 2 these are the powers plus 1 times what 2 raised to power 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 0. Okay, so from here we have 2 times y raised to power 1. y raised to power 1 is still what y, and y times 2 will give us what 2y. Plus, what is y raised to power 0? Anything raised to power 0 is a 1, and 1 times 3 will give us what 3. Equal to, here we have 2 raised to power 3. What is 2 raised to power 3? That is a 2 times 2 times 2, which will give us what? 8. Okay? And 8 times 1 is still what? 8. Plus 2 raised to the power 2 is 4. 4 times 1 will give us what? 4. Plus 2 raised to the power 1 is 2. And 2 times 1 will give us what? 2. Plus 2 raised to the power 0 is what? 1. Okay? Anything raised to the power 0 is what? 1. Okay? And 1 times 1 will give us what? 1. Don't just cancel out, you know? What a common mistake uh, I remember uh, students do make is when they just say 2 raised to power 0, they just make it 0. And 0 times 1 is, is 0. And they would put 0 here. And when you do that, you've, you've gotten the answer wrong. And you definitely see that wrong answer in the option, okay? Because they know it's it's the common mistake students make. So don't make that mistake. Anything raised to power 0 is what? 1. And 1 times 1 is still what? 1. Add 1, okay? So from here, what do we have? We have 2y plus 3. When we add this up, we have 1 plus 2, that is 3, plus uh, 4, that is 7. And 7 plus 8 will give us what? What? 15. Okay, so let's look for 2y. We'll take 3 to this side. We have 2y is equal to what? 15 minus what? 3. Okay, taking plus to this side, I hope you remember it will change to what? A negative sign. Okay, so 2y, what's 15 minus 3? That will give us what? A 12. Together, y will divide both sides by 2. Okay, so we cancel out. And what? how many times will 2 go in 12? 2 go in 12, how many times? 6 times. So we have y is equal to 6. Okay, so our answer for the value of y is what? 6. And our right option here is option C. Question 9 of the was 2019 mathematics past question. That's your why 2019 past, uh, past question. It says, if 6... P and 14 are consecutive terms in an arithmetic progression. Okay, this is arithmetic. Okay, in an arithmetic progression, AP. Find the value of P. All right. Remember arithmetic pro pro progression. This is what the first term. A is the first term. Is that not it? And what is D? Which is the common difference? How do you get D? D is what you subtract what the second term from the first term, then you also subtract what the third term from the from the second term, and it must give you the same thing. That's our common difference. The difference between this and this will be equal to this and this. So it is easy for us to find P, okay? Since we're just given three consecutive terms. All right, and we are told that it stops at 14, not that it's infinite. If it was infinite, it's a different ballgame. But for this, this is quite very easy for you to, for, for us to solve, okay? So from here, let's say we're looking for a common difference, okay? A common difference uh, let, will be, the first common difference will be P minus 6. Is that not it? P minus 6 is equal to, must be equal to what? 14 minus P. That's what common difference D is, okay? That's your common difference, 14 minus P. So from here, we form an equation that we can easily get what P. So from here, let's take P to this side and take minus 6 to this side. Taking P to this side, we have a plus P equal to 14. Taking minus 6 to this side, it will be what? Plus 
6 is that not it so from here p plus p will give us what 2p is equal to what is 14 plus 6 that will give us what 20 we are looking for p is that not it so we divide both sides by what 2 so that 2 can cancel out and we get our p so 2 will cancel out and p how many times with 2 going 20 it will definitely go 10 times so p is equal to what 10 so this is our answer p is equal to what 10 and our right option here is option B. Question 10 of the was 2019 mathematics past question. That's your Y 2019. It says evaluate this. Okay, this is sort. All right. In sort, all you need to do is just break down these bigger values in the square root. All right. That's sort. All right. All we need to do is break down these bigger values where you have a number that's a square root multiplying another number. Okay. So from here, I need to be quite fast about it. You know. Try to, to know uh, what will help you is your times table, all right? Okay, so from here, what uh, can we do all? Let me give you a, a, a very fast trick here. All you need to do is try and divide distance by 2. When you divide by 2, or you would, um, you know, you would get a number. You start with this with the simplest simplest number to divide by two. It will give you a fourteen. Is that not? Is fourteen the square root? No. Divide by three. It can't really divide by three. Try four. Can it divide by four? Yes. It will give you what is seven. So you have a seven times four, and four is a square root. Okay. So you can break this down. All right. So you have two square root seven times four. Okay. You have a minus three. Okay. So let's start with what, uh, for 50, let's start with 2. 2 divided by 50 will give us a 25, and 25 is the square root. Is that not it? 5 times 5 is 25, okay? So, um, I mean 25 is a square, sorry, 25 is a square, 4 is a square, okay? So you have 25 times 2 plus... Okay, 72, if we divide um, 72 by 2, we should get a 36, and 36 is also a square, because 6 times 6 is what, 36, so we have what, 36 times 2, so you can bring out the squares now, alright, so, um, okay, let me, just for people, of, just for students that, you know, maybe you don't really understand this, let me break this further, okay, I'm supposed to just go ahead, you know, and just bring out um, 2. All right, but let me break this further so you understand. All right, minus 3 square root 25 times square root 2 plus square root 36 times square root 2. Okay, so from here, what is the square root of 4 is what 2. And 2 times 2 will give us what 4. So you have 4 square root what 7 minus. What is the square root of 25? That is what 5. Is that not it? And 5 times 3 will give us what 15. Uh, and we have this we have the square root 2 left plus what is the square root of uh, 36 which is what 6 and 6 it will be we are going to multiply 6 by the square root of what 2 so we have 6 square root 2 okay so from here can we simplify further yes we can we have a square root 2 here we have a square root 2 which is the same okay so we have we have to um, simplify this so this will be minus 15 plus 6 what is minus 15 plus 6 that will give or definitely be a, a negative okay so 4 square root 7 minus what 15 plus 6 what will be what is minus 15 plus 6 that will give us what a minus 9 root 2 so this is our answer we we can't simplify further here because this um, this square square root here is different from this square root here, so we can't simplify further. So this is our answer, and our right option here is option C. Question 11 of the was 2019 mathematics past question says, if m ratio n is equal to 2 ratio 1, evaluate this. Okay, so it's just saying put m equal to 2 and n equal to 1 into this equation. So we're going to put m equal to 2 and n equal to 1 into this what equation and evaluate it. So we have what 3 brackets m is what 2, okay, we, we have 2 raised to the power 2 minus 2 bracket um, 1 raised to the power 2 divided by m is also 2 raised to the power 2 plus m is 2 times what and what is n n is what 1 okay so from here what do we have we have 3 2 raised to the power 2 is what 4 times 4 minus 2 times 1 raised to the power 1 is still what 1 divided by what's 2 raised to the power 2 that is what 4 
plus what is 2 times 1? That will give us what 2. So from here, what do we have? 3 times 4 will give us what 12 minus what is 2 times 1 will give us what 2 divided by 4 plus 2. That will give us what is 6. Is that not it? So we have 12 minus 2 will give us what a 10 divided by 6. From here, we can cancel out. Is that not it? So we have 2 will go here how many times? 5 times. And 2 will go here how many times? 3 times. So our final answer is what? 5 over 3. So this is our answer. And our right option here is option B. Question 12 of the was 2019 mathematics past question. That's your why 2019 past question. It says H varies directly. It says H varies directly as P. Okay, let us interpret this. Remember, this is variation. H, okay, varies directly as P and inversely as the square of Y. Inversely, that will be divided by what? Y square. As a square of Y, this is what it means, all right? If H is equal to 1 and P is equal to 8, and y is equal to 2. Find h in terms of p and y. Okay, so the first thing first we are going to do is let's try to look for our constant, okay, which is k. Introducing our constant, we are going to have what h should be equal to what k p divided by what y square. So let us put in the value of um, all these values, h equal to 1, p is equal to 8, and y is equal to 2, so we can get our k. All right, so... We have h is what 1 equal to k. What is p? p is to be times 8 divided by y is 2, which is what 2 squared. So what do we have here? We have 1 uh, equal to 8k over 4. Let's take this 4 here. So we have 4 is equal to what? 8k. And k will be what? We are dividing both sides by what? 8. Okay? This 8 will cancel out. What are we left with? Uh... Uh, 4 here, 1, 4 here, how many times 2? So k is equal to what? Sorry, so k is equal to what? 1 over 2, okay? So k is 1 over 2. So the question says find h in terms of p and y. So all you need to do is just put in the value of k into this uh, uh, final expression, okay? This is expression, all right? Since we introduced the constant and it changed the variation sign to equal to sign. So put a value of k into here. So what do we have? We have what h is equal to what k is what 1 over 2 p over y square. So simplifying this, we have what p over 2y square. So this is it. So finding h in terms of p and y this is our what final answer. And what's our right option here? Our right option what is option C, which is what H is equal to P divided by 2Y squared. So this is our answer, option C. Question 13 of the was 2019 mathematics past question. That's your Y 2019 past question. It says solve this is our 4x squared minus 16x plus what 15 equal to 0. Okay, so what to solve this? That's you know, this is like a factorization. All right, so we have 4x squared minus what 16x plus 15 is equal to what 0. All right. So from here, I hope you remember factorization. All right, I can't really explain it fully, but let me just um, let me just do something here. You know, just quick explanation. All right, so here the first thing you need to do is say four times fifteen. And what's four times fifteen? Four times fifteen will give us what sixty. All right. Now you're going to look for the factors of sixty that you are going to add or subtract that will give you what minus 16 all right and what are the factors of 60 there are several factors of 60 but what will fit this minus 16 will be what 10 times what 6 okay 10 times 6 which is what 60 so we are going to use minus 10 and minus what 6 okay so this is what we are going to use because minus 10 minus 6 will give us what minus what 16 so we come here we say 4x squared all right minus what 10x minus 6x plus 15 is equal to what zero so let's um take let's take what's common all right so from here what's common to 4x squared and 10x will give us it will be a 2x okay bracket 
what will remain here, what will remain will be a 2x minus, and what will remain from 10 will be a 5, okay? 10 divided by 2 is a 5, so we have a 5. You can see if you open this bracket, 2x times 2x will give you a 4x square, and 2x times a minus 5 will give you what a minus what 10x. Then you put in your put down your sign as what a negative. Okay, what is common to 6x and um, 3 and uh, 15 is a what 3. Okay bracket and you have what a x all right and um, the sign positive would what change towards negative okay sorry um three divided by six x will give us what a two x okay don't forget this two x okay so the sign here will change to what a negative and three divided by 15 will give us what a five all right if you open the bracket it will be likened to this two so minus three times two x will give you a minus six x and minus 3 times a minus 5 will give you a plus what 15. So equal to what 0. Take like terms. So we have 2x minus minus 3 bracket what 2x minus 5 is equal to what 0. So here we have 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Or we're looking for the values of x or we have 2x minus what 5 is equal to what 0. From here... Um, taking minus 3 here, we have 2x was trying to solve for x equal to what 3, all right? So from here, we divide both sides by 2, so we can get our x. So x is what 2 over 3, is that not it? x is equal to, sorry, 3 over 2. And um, you can, this is a improper fraction. So change it to mixed fraction, you have 2, it's, it's 2 in 3 will be 1, so 1 on number 1 over 2, so this is our first value of x, or we have here 2x, taking 5 minus 5 to this side, we have a positive 5, divide both sides by 2, and we have x is equal to what, 5 over 2, how many times would changing this to a mixed fraction, how many times would uh, 2 go in 5, to go how many times, go 2 times, remainder 1 over 2 so we have this so x is equal to 1 whole number 1 1 over 2 or 2 whole number 1 over 2 so this is our answer for x and what is our right option here yes our right option what is option b so this is our answer Question 14 of the was 2019 mathematics past question. That's a Y 2019 past question. It says evaluate this, leaving the answer in standard form. Okay, so this is quite easy in Y. You are allowed to use a calculator, so we can easily punch in your calculator. This divided by this would give you a 0 0.168 divided by this times this would give you a 1.025. And if you punch in your calculator, when you divide this, you're going to get a 0 0.1639. 02439. Okay, so from here it says leave your answer in standard form. And you can see the answers here is just in one decimal place. Is that not it? So let's just shift this one decimal place. And you know when you're shifting backwards, you are adding what a negative what one. Is that not it? I hope you remember if you're going forward is a positive one to the power of the 10. But shifting to your right hand side, okay, it's what's adding a negative one. So from here we have uh, this is equal to what 1.639 times what 10 raised to power minus one. So this is the answer 1.639 times 10 raised to power minus one. And our right option here is option C. Question 15 of the was 2019 mathematics past question. That's your Y 2019 past question. It says simplify this. Okay. Sorry, this is um, log 6. This should be, sorry for the typo, this should be log uh, 6 base 10. Okay. All right. So it says simplify this. So let me write this down again. So log 6 base 10 minus 3 log 3 base 10 plus 2 over 3 log 27 base or 10 okay all right so uh, <clears throat> so from here let's simplify this so we have here we have log 10 uh, log 6 base 10 minus take this 3 up here okay we're just trying to simplify this okay so we have 
3 raised to the power 3 plus, take this 2 over 3 up here, so we have wood log. Uh, that, that's uh, base 10, 27 raised to the power 2, 3, okay? And, um, you know, 27 raised to the power 2, 3, let's simplify this. 27 raised to the power 2, 3, that it means um, we are going to what? The cube root of 27, is that not it? We are going to find the cube root of 27, Okay, then we're going to square that, all right? And what's the cube root of 27? That is what, 3? Three? 3 times 3 is what, 9? Is that not it? Times another 3 will give, give us what, 27? So the cube root of 27 is what? Is, uh, cube root of 27 is what, 3? And 3 square is, will give us what, 9, okay? So we simplify this as 9. And what is 3 raised to the power 3? 3 raised to the power 3 is 27. Is that not a 3? times 3 times 3 which will give us what 27 okay so from here let's write this down so we have log okay log 6 minus uh, log uh, 27 plus we we'll simplify this as 9 minus log what 9 okay so from here now we can easily just bring out our log 10 Remember, in log region, when you have a negative sign, is what division, right? So we have 6 divided by what, 27. And when you have a positive sign, it's what, a, 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 a multiplication, okay, times what, 9. All right, so we have this. You know why I brought out this log 10? is because it is what, common to everything here, all right? So from here, we can cancel out. 3 here will go how many times? How many times will 3 go in, twin, in, in 27? It will go 9 times. And 3 here will go how many times? 2 times. And this 9 can cancel out this 9. 9 here, 1. 9 here, what? 1. And we're left with what? 2. So our final answer here will be what? Log 2 base 10. Okay, so this is our answer. And our right option here is option B. Question 16 of the was 2019 mathematics past question. It says, Balas sold an article for 6,900 and made a profit of 15%. Calculate his percentage profit if he had sold it for 6,600. Alright, so the first thing here is we have to know the word cost price, okay, of the article. Alright, that's the first thing we have to find. If we want to find an, his uh, another uh, percentage profit if he had sold it for 6,600, alright? So from this uh, first statement, we can find his what cost price. And you remember, uh, percentage profit is what? Is our selling price minus our cost price divided by our cost price times 100 all right so let's let our let's make our cost price equal to what x all right so it doesn't take uh too much space so we have 15 our profit here is 15 is equal to what our selling price of the article but let's solve this first of all uh 6900 minus x divided by x is equal to, uh, times what 100 sorry <coughs> okay so from here Let's cross multiply this. We have 15x is equal to what? Uh, when we cross multiply, then we can 100 and multiply everything here. And we 100 multiply this 6,900. We have a 600, add another 0. Okay, that's, um, that's 690,000 minus 100 times the x here. We have a 100 what x. Okay, so from here we can take minus 100x to this side. We have 15x plus. 100x is equal to 690,000. Okay, and this plus this will give us a 1115x. Is that not it? Then 690,000. Then we have to divide both sides by 115. Okay, and divide. And when we do this, punch in your calculator, divide this. What are we going to have? We are going to have what? 6,000. Okay, this is the answer. This is the answer. Okay, so our cost price is what 6000 of this article all right so since we know the cost price now of the article is now easy for us to find his what percentage profit if he had sold it for 6600 so using the same formula all right okay we're looking for percentage profit all right so we have here our selling price is what his new selling price is what 6600 minus the cost price now is what 6000 let's manage this space here then remember we have a times 100 somewhere here okay 
divided by what 6000 which is the cost price okay let's create more space here so um, this 6600 minus 6000 will give us what 600 is that not it divided by 6000 times bring down this 100 here okay this hot 20 will cancel out this 20. This 10 will cancel out this 10 here. And 6 will go in 60 how many times? 10 times. And our percentage of it is equal to what? 10 what percent. Okay? So his percentage profit will be what? 10 percent. And our right option here is option B. Question 17 of the was 2019 mathematics past question. That's your wire 2019. It says if uh, 3p is equal to 4p, 4q, and 9p is equal to 8q minus 12. Find the value of p and q. That's p times q. That's what the question is asking us to find. Find the value of p times q. Okay. So from here, let's try to look for p and q. Okay. All right. So we can first of all use this first equation. We have two equations here, which is what 3p is equal to what 4q equation one, and the second is what. 9p is equal to what? 8q minus 12. That's equation 2. So let's uh, make uh, p the subject of formula in equation 1. All right. Then put in the value of p into this equation so we can find q. Okay. So here, making p the subject of formula, we have here 3p is equal to 4q. Is that not it? Divide both sides by 3. Divide by 3, cancel, cancel, and we're left here with what P is equal to what 4Q over 3. So let's put in uh, the value of P as this into this equation. So here, what do we have here? We have uh, 9, put in P as this, we have 9 times what 4Q over 3 equal to what 8Q minus what 12. So 3 will cancel out. Is that not a 3 here? 1, 3, 9 will go how many times? 3 times. When we're left with 3 times 4q, that will give us what 12q equal to 8q minus 12. So let's uh, take q to this side. So we have 12q minus 8q is equal to what? Minus 12. All right. So 8q, uh, so 12q minus uh, 8q will give us what? A 4q a positive. Okay. Equal to minus what? 12. So to get q, we divide both sides by 4. This will cancel out. How many times will 4 go in? Um, 12, that will go 3 times. Don't forget your minus sign. We have a minus what? 3. Okay, so from here, let's put in Q, which is equal to minus 3, into this equation so we can find our P. So we have P is equal to what? 4 times what? Minus 3 divided by 3. So here we have 3. We'll cancel out this 3 here. We have 1. Okay, we are left with 1, so we have a minus 1, and 4 times minus 1 will give us with a minus 4. So P is equal to minus 4. So, and our question asks us to find, uh, our question has asked us to find the value of P and Q, that's P times Q. And P is what minus 4, and Q is what minus 3. So we have here minus 4 times minus 3. And what would that give us? A minus multiplying a minus would be a positive. So and a 4 times 3 will give us what? A 12. So we have a 12 as an answer, a positive 12. And our right option here is option A. Question 18 of the was 2019 mathematics past question. That's your 2019 past question. It says, if... Uh, 0 0.25 bracket raised to the power y is equal to 32. Find the value of y. Okay, so let's try to simplify this. This is indices, so you have to be fast on simplification. Okay, so from here, uh, 0 0.25 is also the same as saying 25 divided by 100. I hope you know that raised to the power y and 32 can also be simplified to 2 raised to the power what 5 okay so from here 25 divided by 100 how many times 25 go in 100 it will go how many times 4 times so we have 1 over 4 all into bracket of the power of what y and we have 2 raised to the power 5 all right so yeah 4 can be likened to what 2 raised to the power 2 is that not it 2 raised to the power 2 all right 
let's see, put this down. So, and this two risk power two can come up. Remember, in indices, when you have um, a, an inverse of a, uh, a power, when it comes up, it becomes what a negative. Is that not it? So we have a two risk power minus two, all bracket what y is equal to what. 2 raised to the power 5. So let us open up this bracket. In open up this bracket, this y will multiply this power. So we have a, a 2 raised to the power what, minus 2y is equal to 2 raised to the power what, 5. So from here, uh, it's very easy for us now to cancel out 2 since, um, you know, we have 2 here and we also have 2 here. Okay, so we cancel out. So I hope you remember indices. We cancel out this and we're left with what minus 2y is equal to what 5. So from here we can get our uh, y by dividing both sides by minus 2. So divide both sides by minus 2. Sorry, 2. Minus 2. We cancel out minus 3 here. We're left with what y is equal to what minus 5 over. Two. So this is our answer, y is equal to minus 5 over 2, and our right option here is option A. Question 19 of the was 2019 Mathematics Pass question, that's your work, 2019 Maths Pass question, it says, there are 8 boys and 4 girls in a lift, okay? What is the probability that the first person who steps out of the lift will be a boy? I hope you remember probability, okay? Probability is just definitely, you know, the, the number of um, required outcomes over uh, the number of what? Of the total outcomes, okay? And um, what's the required outcome here is what the boy, okay? Because the, it's asking us for the probability of the first person who steps out of the leaf to be a boy. So this number of required outcome, okay? Which was, is the number of what boys? And how many know of boys? And how many boys do we have? We have what? We have eight boys, okay? Eight boys then divided by the no, total no, okay? Uh, no of um, total outcome, okay? And what's the total outcome here? Let me just write this completely. The total outcome here is eight plus 12. That's the total uh, persons in the lift. That's eight boys plus four girls, and which will give us what 12. So we have eight divided by 12. Okay, so um, here four can go here how many times? Four can go here two times, and four can go here three times, and we're left with what two over three. So these are answer the probability that the first person who steps out of the lift will be a boy is what two over three. And our right option here is option C. Question 20 of the was 2019 mathematics past question. That's your YX 2019. It says simplify this. All right. So we have to factorize the num numerator and also factorize the word den denominator. Okay. In factorizing, I hope you still remember what are the factors of um, 14 that we are going to add or subtract that will give us what minus 5. Okay. The factors of 14 that we can play around is what 7 and what 2. Because 7 times 2 is what? 14, okay? So for us to get minus 5, we have to do minus 7 plus 2. That will give us a minus 5. So in factorizing here, so we have here uh, uh, x squared minus 7x. It's always good you bring the bigger number first. 7x plus 2x, which will give you 5x minus what 14 divided by let's also quickly do this now all right so what are the factors of we still have 14 here so it's easier so the factors of 14 that we're going to play around to get a minus 9 to definitely be a minus 7 minus 2 which will give us what a minus 9 so we have x squared minus 7x minus what 2x plus 14 Okay, from here, let's take this down here. So from here, let's bring out what's common. So we have x, bring out x. All right. Ah, sorry, I should have done it here so it's closed so you don't get confused. But please follow me closely, okay? <coughs> all right, please follow me closely, all right? Okay, so we have x here, bring out x minus 7. Close the brackets. Then bring out our plus. What is common to 2 and 14? That will be a 2. Is, uh, we can bring out a 2 bracket x 
and take out what, and we are going to be left with what seven. Then we are going to divide what is common to this and this also. We are bringing out an x bracket, x minus what seven. All right, close the brackets. Uh, okay, leave your negative sign. We're also going to bring out a two. Two is common to this and this. So two brackets. We're going to be left with what an x. Now your sign will change to a negative sign. All right. We're going to uh, have a negative sign, then we're going to be left with what is 7. Since 14 divided by 2 will be a 7, all right? Okay, so from here, and um, to confirm this, if you open up the brackets, why this can't be a plus is because when you open up the bracket, a minus times this uh, uh, positive will be a negative 14. And here we have a positive 14. So this sign changed to, to negative because when you open up the bracket again, we have a minus 2 times a minus uh, 17 will give us what? Sorry, times a minus 7 will give us what? A positive what? 14. So from here, let's take the like terms. So here we have x and what 2. Since this is common, so we have x plus 2 bracket what? x minus 7. And we have here x divided, don't forget our division sign, divided by x minus 2 bracket what x minus 7 so from here we can now cancel out is that not it easy for us to cancel out so this x minus 7 will cancel out this x minus 7 and we're left with what x plus 2 divided by x minus 2 so this is our answer and our right option here is option d okay since so the question says simplify so we can't simplify further here so our right option is option d